So, what age is a girl actually sexually mature? According to Islamic teachings, about 6 to 10 years old, or at least that's what I'm told. The Prophet Muhammad had sexual dreams about a 4-year-old girl. He married her and had sex with her at age 6. A 4-year-old is not even in school yet. So, this is what a 4-year-old girl looks like. Kind of cute. They are young. They are even still almost toddler age. They like playing with little dolls. They like their birthdays. They like pink things. And this is what a four year old girl with an older man. Looks like her father. Or at least he could be. He's 39, and she is 4. What if you found out that he was having sex with her? Forceful, anal sex at that. Making her bleed profusely. Possibly even causing her death. Well, as it turns out, that's exactly what happened to this little girl. Moving on. The Prophet in Islam had sexual dreams about a four-year-old, someone who's not even in school yet. He married her, then consummated the marriage when she was six, though some claim it was nine, six. Still, a six-year-old is just entering school. Depending on what state you are in, or country, a six-year-old is either in kindergarten or first grade. They're just learning how to read, possibly. They're still coloring, you know. What does a six-year-old look like? According to Islamic teachings, these little girls should be having sex with a man who is many years older than them. The man could even possibly be 60 years old or possibly 20. Take your pick. Which one of these girls is sexy to you? Apparently, the following men found little girls of this age sexy. And it's not just limited to white men. He's Asian. He's Islamic. This girl's been married to this man. She's 11 years old and 10 months. She's not even 12 yet. She had not started her period. Do you really think all these little girls understand what's going to happen to them? They will have a man's penis shoved inside of them, when their bodies do not even produce the sexual secretions to allow for such a thing, i.e. the sexual lubricants that a female body produces when she is sexually aroused. This will be very painful for the girls. They will most likely scream and cry, begging for their mothers or their dads. And some of them will die as a result of their first time having sex. Some will be beaten, some will be tied up. Some of them will be forced to have anal sex. 